Hello YouTube, Actors Hall from The Working Gamer with another top 5 list for you. In the last video we looked at the top 5 simulation games to try this year, and today we'll have a look at 5 RPG games you should try your hand at. While not all of these games are considered new, they are still considered current day best choices in the RPG genre and are definitely worth checking out. As always, a reminder to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Definitely a handy feature, especially considering that the next release in our lineup will be the top 5 indie games video, so stay tuned for that one as well. Quick intro and we'll get started with the top 5 RPG games. It should really come as no surprise that Witcher 3 is the first on the list and it hardly requires much introduction. Dubbed as the top RPG game of all time by many publications, Witcher 3 puts you in the shoes of Geralt of Rivia on a quest to find Ciri before the Wild Hunt beats you to it. While there is a slight advantage in having played the first two Witcher games before this one, it is by no means required and the story is fed to you through the various in-game dialogues. Witcher 3 is a full-fledged RPG with a wide variety of side quests and storylines and features some of the most believable and humorous dialogues seen in most games to date. It doesn't shy away from its sense of humor either and it's in fact so good that it leaves you with a sense of longing once the game and its two expansions are complete. It's no wonder that Netflix picked up the title for a featured series. Next up we're looking at Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed started making the transition from action-adventure to RPG when they released Origins in 2017. While Origins was, in essence, a good RPG, it still lacked a few features such as meaningful character progression, far-reaching dialogue choices and an incentive to complete the side missions. All of these have been addressed in Odyssey where you play the role of either Cassandra or Alexios in Ancient Greece. While Origins dealt with the origin of the Assassin Order, Odyssey takes place before that and focuses on the legacy of the First Blade. You begin the game by going after the members of the Cult of Cosmos, who are, in reality, the first origins of the Templars. The main story is only part of the gameplay experience, and there are numerous subplots and side stories to experience, including some where you get to meet famous people like Pythagoras or see the location where King Leonidas fought the Persians. Divinity Original Sin 2 is the sequel to the award-winning first title in the series and takes the form of a more traditional RPG platform with its unique graphic style and dialogue choices. Everything has an effect from who and what you are to who or what you interact with. And having said that, you can interact with just about everything around you. Use the environment as a weapon, twist the elements to your advantage or just go on a spree and destroy everything in sight. The game features an improved AI who will counter you in ways you've likely not experienced before. The game can also be played with up to 4 players, either online or in split screen mode. Divinity does exceedingly well at blending co-op and RPG together into this masterpiece. No Man's Sky has not had the greatest game launch in history. Most people will remember the absolute disaster during launch and the severe backlash from gamers. However, this was followed by one of the best comeback stories in gaming history with the game having released multiple updates and patches over time to become what it is today. While some describe it as an action-adventure game, it is by all rights an RPG with a vast open universe, character progression and a complete sandbox environment, while still featuring an overarching storyline. There is always something to do, whether it is upgrading your exosuit, your multi-tool, your ship, your freighter, the list goes on. Discovering new planets with its unique fauna and flora can vary from a relaxing activity to a frenzy-filled panic when you discover that the planet you've just landed on experiences windstorms filled with shards of red hot glass. While Bloodborne is a PlayStation exclusive, it still deserves a spot on this list. Bloodborne is an action RPG set in a gothic Victorian setting. The citizens of the in-game city are infected with a bloodborne disease and as the protagonist, you are responsible for finding the source. Along the way, you are hunted by various different beasts and bosses, making for a challenging gameplay experience. The game is class-based and features character progression as well as in-game vendors and a large interconnected map. It bears all the hallmarks of an RPG and complements this with fast-paced combat. Bloodborne also features a unique multiplayer system where other players can be summoned to your game to help you cooperatively or they can invade your game and hunt you down. The game was crowned as the 2015 Game of the Year by several review sites and was also nominated for a further 8 Golden Joystick Awards. That brings us to the end of today's list. I hope you find this helpful and if you have any suggestions for future RPG titles to feature in the list video, please feel free to pop it in the comments down below. 
Also, stay tuned for the upcoming Top 5 Indie Games video releasing later this week. As always, stay safe and take care. See you soon.